I, um, I had a girlfriend in San Francisco. Her name is Brenda. And uh, Brenda is a most unusual kind of a girl in that she is always doing yoga and meditation. She likes classical music and classical books, and she's a lot of fun. And I shared an apartment with her in the Haight-Ashbury district. So I know her uh, characteristics of a, any given day. And Brenda fell into a relationship with a young man, which she thought was going to be, this is it. We're going to be off in here together in the woods, sharing the phone bills. And um, but she called me about a month later, and she said, I don't know if I can do this. And I said, why? She said, well, you know how it is when I wake up in the morning, and I don't really want to be bothered. One time, the first day that I moved into the apartment with Brenda, you know, and I had moved all my furniture in there, and that's serious money, you know, when you move moving furniture in somewhere. And uh, that morning, she passed by me and looked a little grouchy, and I looked at the floor and wondered, what did I get myself into? Even though I knew her well, but I didn't know what I was doing. And then she went and made breakfast, and she said, come on, Venus, let's eat some uh, breakfast. And I sat down at the table, and she said, good morning, Venus. And I said, oh, good morning, Brenda. And she says, I'm sorry, she said, but I'm no good until I have some coffee in the morning. And I said, Phew. because I just really didn't understand it, but I wasn't going to be judgmental. Anyway, this man, he just didn't understand that about her at all. He thought she should always be in communication with him. And she said, I can't meditate and talk at the same time. You know, we all understand that, right? So I wrote a song for Brenda. And uh, out of desperation, because I didn't know what to do, I just wanted to help her. And I couldn't interfere with a relationship. But anyway, I wrote this song, and it's called Silence. Sometimes I don't want to hear any outside noises. Do I make myself Clear. Of times, quiet sounds so good that I stop to listen and I'm misunderstood. When I am laughing, talking, and dancing and walking, you say. Everything's okay, everything I do. But when I turn down the riot and just hear the quiet, then why do you think I'm angry at you? Silence can be golden too. <laughs> Keith Munzel on piano. Silence can be golden too. And I must have silence. When I celebrate you, when I celebrate you, when I celebrate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.